Hi all, welcome to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So today in this video, we will going to discuss how to pass the data from child to parent in the LWC component. Okay. So earlier in, in the previous video, we have discussed how to pass data from parent to child and we, this was done using the API decorator. But in this now, we will going to discuss to pass the data from child to parent. Here we will going to see the use of custom event, how, we, how the custom event will going to help us in this and how we are going to create them and dispatch them using which we will be able to pass the values. So we will discuss this on the screen share. So now let's move to our screen. Okay, so let's start with this. Let's suppose uh, again, this is my parent container or the parent component. Okay, and inside this we have this child component. Okay, now this time we want to now this time we want to pass the value from child to this parent. Okay, so earlier what we have done when we are passing the value from parent to child, we are just using the API decorator and that variable is used to pass to the other component that is the, to the child component. But this time when we are passing the value, when we have to pass the value from this child component to parent component, then what we need to what we need to do, we need to create the custom event. And then we need to dispatch this. So when we used to dispatch this event, it contains the value which we want to pass from this child component to parent component. And that event, custom event will be then handled on this parent component, which will help us to get the value from this child component. Okay. Now let's move to our screen and we'll see how we how we'll write this. So if you guys remember earlier when we were passing value from this parent to child, then the uh, API decorator which we have created was in the parent okay now our scenario is to pass the value from this child to parent so we will going to create our custom event in this child component okay and we'll going to handle this in this parent component okay so first now let's go to the child component so I have already written the code so we'll going to explain you how we will going to perform this okay so my requirement is like this currently uh, like suppose this is the child component okay and in this child component I have input text field okay this is the input field so whatever the value I fill here it should reflect to this parent component also let's suppose I have written a here so as soon as I have written the a the a should be visible on the parent component also uh, like uh, if I change this value a b c d so all these values should be visible at the same time to parent component also okay so on the child component our uh, goal is to create the input field and on change as soon as we will going to enter the value or change the value it should fire the event so the value should be visible on the parent component okay so our goal is to create the input field and then fire the custom event or dispatch the custom event to the parent okay so here is my vs code and this is my child component so on the child component template we have created or we have taken one input field okay in this input field we will going to handle our gs function on change on change we will going to handle our function okay let me change the name as on change okay So one input field is done. Okay, all we just only need this input field on the child component. So as soon as I change the value or I write a value here, so this will uh, using this on change event, it will going to call my JS function. Okay, now let's move to the JS part of this component. So in the JS function, what is happening here? Using this event dot target dot value, I will directly get the value which we have written in the input field. So here I have created a variable input value and we can uh, access this using this operator. Okay, so the value which we which I have written on the template will access directly using this event dot target dot value and put it in this input variable input value variable which we have created in this JS function. Okay, now as soon as we get this input variable, our next goal is to create the custom event and so as I can pass the value to the parent component. Okay. So in the next line, as you can see how you can see, I have created this custom event. So first is, uh, so here you can take any name in this where, okay. Now you need to create the constructor of this custom event. 
and in this custom event you will going to pass the name of your event using which you will going to access it in the parent okay so this is the event name custom event name and you will going to pass the detail detail means the value which you want to pass from this child to parent and this is not necessary only one parameter you can pass if you want like multiple values to be passed to the component to the parent component then using the comma you can add the multiple parameters here okay so this is how we will going to create the custom event so or let me revise this again first you need to create the constructor of this custom event and in this you will going to pass the name of your constructor using this name only you will going to access this uh, event in the parent okay next is you need to pass the parameter so first is the detail here in this i am going to pass this input value which i have received from the html of this child component okay so this value is set to this detail parameter now next is once the event is created our next created our next part is to dispatch this event okay and in this dispatch event you will going to pass the name which you have here which you have created here okay to which you have assigned this custom event so this name you will going to pass here so this is how this is the only part we need to perform when we are connecting from child to parent okay our goal is only just to create the custom event and then dispatch this custom event now let's move to the parent component so in the parent component this is the template okay and in this i need to show only the value which we have received from this child component and we need to call this child component here okay so this is uh, this is the so this is the template look like here i have a pass one value and here i have called this child component okay so as soon as this child uh, this template render what it will going to do this value will be printed here and this value i will show you from where we will get this and then the on child component here as you can see it is written on input value change so this name up to here input value change is similar to the name we of this custom event name okay so this is how we will going to handle this event in parent you need to add the own prefix here okay so as soon as you add on here the component will get to know that this is the custom event which is created in the child component so as soon as it will going to call this js function so in this js function what we will do we can directly get the value from this event dot detail so detail here is the parameter which we have passed here so here it will going to directly get the value and put in this variable so this is the local variable i have created in this component so so as soon as this event is handled it will going to call this function and in this function i have access the value of this parameter which which we have passed from the child this one and similarly you can access the multiple parameters also if you pass okay so this is how you will going to get the value from child to parent and as soon as you get the value you will assign to the any variable and can show it to this template okay so this is how we will going to create the event and dispatch this and get the value or handle the event in the uh, parent and get the value so let me show you the demo so this is my page so this is my account page and this is the component so here as you can see this is the complete is the container that is the parent component and this parent component we have the values from the child component okay so this is the line from parent this is also from parent and this is now next showing the template of child component okay so here i have added the input field so now let's add anything here kanika let's suppose so as soon as i am getting uh, adding the value in this input field on change function is called and with, due to which a uh, js function is called and in this js we are creating and dispatching the custom event due to which it is passing the value at the same time to the parent component okay this is how 
इट इज कनेक्टिंग और पासिंग वैल्यू फ्रॉम चाइल्ड टू पेरेंट you can do the same using the button click also like suppose uh, i don't want at the same time to be value to be displayed over the parent so what i can do i can simply write the name kanika here and then create the button and on this on click i can create the custom event and dispatch it so it can show me the value over here at one time only okay so this is how using this custom event we will going to connect from child to parent so hope you guys find this video useful and if you have any queries or any questions do let me know in the comment section and and the next video will be to pass the data between the unrelated component that is no parent child relation is there and but still we want to pass the data so we'll discuss this in the upcoming video okay so till then take care goodbye